Tia here with Mastering Pop, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Google Search Console to improve your SEO. Hey everyone, I'm Tia Jones with Mastering Pop, which is Mastering Profitability Over Popularity, and I'm also the creator of the No Fail Mastering Ecom Workflow Bundle, which is a digital marketing course that's available right now. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Search Console to improve your SEO. But before I do this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a video. I upload digital marketing videos that will help you to generate more revenue and scale your store faster. Okay, so I am going to show you how you can improve your SEO using Search Console. Uh, Search Console is a free service from Google that helps you to monitor and just troubleshoot uh, your website's appearance in the search results. So you can find it to fix technical errors, you can submit your sitemap, you can use it to look at your backlinks, and so much more. Um, it basically tells you the health of your website. Um, so if you have a website, if you're a merchant, uh, if you're selling services or products online, you definitely want to connect it to Search Console, your website. doesn't matter what platform you're using either. It could be Shopify, it could be um, WordPress, um, Magento, GoDaddy, I mean Wix, Weebly, I could go on and on. But uh, today, again, I'm going to show you how you can use Search Console to improve your SEO. So. Um, one thing you want to do is make sure you're logged in. Once you're logged in, you're going to click on performance on the left hand side and we're going to make sure that we click on average CTR and average position. So we're going to scroll down. Uh, as you can see, these are the queries. So these are the, the queries that people use to find uh, our product pages or collection pages or even the home page, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to filter the position. Uh, and we're going to say we want to look at terms that are uh, the average position, excuse me, the average position, we want it to be smaller than five. Let's say five. We'll just say five. Okay, so, um, and then what we want to do next is we want to sort the click-through rate, right? So these, this click the, the click-through rate right here doesn't look so bad, right? 8.9. 11%, 17%, but um, we're going to focus on the queries that ha that average have a good average position, but the click-through rate isn't the best, right? So as you can see, we're looking at teardrop vape. Uh, the average position is 1.7, which means that it's not necessarily on page one, okay? So <laughs> average position is exactly what it is. It's average position. Um, so let's just go to Google to see exactly where we rank for teardrop vape uh, before we keep going uh, with the video. So teardrop vape, oops, okay, boom. All right, so let's see if we're on the first page. We'll just do a control find, flower power, no. We'll go over to the second page, see what we have, flower power, oh, right there. Okay, so we're page two and we're above the fold, which is great. We're number 13. Um, so we're number 13 for Teardrop Vape. Uh, this is the page. So let's go back. There's uh, a lot of images. So hopefully uh, I've optimized my images. If not, we'll make sure that we do. Uh, there's people also ask questions. There's videos. Uh, so these are a lot of things that we could probably uh, implement to to push ourselves to the first page of Google. So let's go back to Search Console and let's click on Teardrop Vape. Again, it only gets three clicks, uh, impressions 504, the click-through rate is 0.6, All right? So let's click on that. Uh, let's go to Pages. Let's look at the page. So this is the page. All right, let's, hopefully the product's in stock. Yeah, it's in stock. Let's see if it's in green too, perfect. Okay, so let's look at the copy. There's definitely a lot of copy. There's enough copy, uh, which is a good thing. It's not thin content, right? So let's let's go ahead and um, dive into the back end of the Shopify store. So we're on the back end of the product page, and 
what I've noticed is that I don't have any headers, any header tags. Like we have one, which is the header one, which is the name, the title of the page, but we don't have any uh, other headers. We don't have any H2s or H3s. So what I would probably do, no, what I will do is I will um, incorporate some header tags. So let's go back to Google and we're going to look at what people also ask. So I see what is the teardrop vape called? Okay, so that's an option for an H2. So let's open that up. Oh, that's exactly our product. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna copy that. Oops, I'm gonna go back to the back end of my Shopify store. I'm gonna plug that in there and I'm going to make it a header too. And if I'm not if I'm not answering it here, I'm going to create content to answer this question. What is the teardrop vape called? That's the Swarin Drop Vape. is is a designed water drop shaped vape device by Swarin. So this might be perfect. This might be just answering the question already. So I'm going to leave this as is right now. So we've incorporated an H2. I'm going to go back to Google. I'm going to look at the other questions. How to how do you how do you use a teardrop vape? Okay, we have our drop vapes good. How long does the drop vape last? How much does a Swarin drop pod cost? I could probably answer a few of these questions on my product page. So I think let's go down here to look at related searches. So drop vape price. All right, so I'm definitely gonna pull another one of these questions from here and I'm gonna add it to my product description and I'm gonna make sure that I answer the question. So the next one that I'll probably do is how do you use a teardrop vape? So I'm gonna copy this and even though I don't have the copy yet to answer this question that I'm getting ready to add here, I'm gonna create the content. So. Let's see, where can I plug this in? I'll probably throw it right here. And I'm gonna make that an H2 as well. You can have multiple H2s, just FYI. So I'm going to answer the question. Uh, and so let me go back here to see one more. If we can incorporate one more. So we have how long does a drop vape last and how much does a drop cost? So I like those two. I'm gonna see if I've answered the question to either one because we know the price that we're charging, which is $32.99. That would be an easy uh, question to answer. Uh, let's see, charger will recharge the device in 45 minutes. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate both of those. Uh, questions. So I'm going to make this an H3 and uh, I'm going to do this as well. I'm going to throw that right here. I'm also going to make this an H3. So I'm going to go back in and create copy to that's going to answer these questions. But for the sake of the video, we're going to keep going. So I'm hitting save. I'm going to scroll down here to see if these alt, if these images are uh, optimized, the alt text. So this one says swore on drop vape on sale. That, that could work. Um, so the next one, Okay, we're saying the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and I'm going to say teardrop vape on sale at Flower Power Packages. I'm going to hit save. All right, so we have two different alt text for the images. or And we can also incorporate the color black. And what do they call this? Are they calling it green? I think they are. Yes, so we're gonna say green.
Okay, so the we've incorporated some header tags, H2s and H3s, and we've updated the um, alt text for the images to include uh, keywords, variations. So we have teardrop, vape, which is the term, the query that people use to find this page. And then we have uh, the name of the, the actual brand um, in one of the images as well. So uh, this is the title tag and meta description. I'm going to leave it as is because it seems to be doing fine. Uh, shop for this Warren Drop Vape, also known as the Teardrop Vape at Flower Power Packages. It's perfect for the vapors that are on the go. Get 10% off order. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Um, I, what I also noticed in Google for Teardrop Vape was there were videos. So something that we could do is create a video and uh, add the video to the product page and um, and then see how we do from there. So for now, I'm just going to stick with the updated copy. Again, I'm going to answer these questions and um, I'm going to grab this URL. And if we aren't able to get to the first page of Google um, after doing these changes, making these updates, then I might go ahead and create that video like I just mentioned and then add that to this product page. But in the meantime, I'm going to grab this URL and go back to Search Console. And I'm going to click on URL inspection and I'm going to paste it here. So what I'm doing is telling Google, hey, I've made some updates to this page. I'd love for you to come back and crawl this page for re-indexing. So for re-indexing um, for, the, for the changes that I've made. So again, I've incorporated some colors in the alt image tags. I've added some header tags, right? That's asking questions that are popular. Um, so I would then hit enter and then we would click request indexing. So I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to ha actually create content, which is me answering those questions, right? But that is what you would typically do. You would go to URL inspection, paste the URL here, and then request Google to index. Um, okay, so that's one query uh, that we made an update to. So that's one way you can improve your SEO based on based on uh, filtering by position, right? We said we wanted to find uh, terms or queries that were averaging smaller than five, right? So that's over here, right? So we then uh, sorted the click-through rate and we sorted to see uh, the least clicks uh, to work on these queries that have a decent impression. So we went, we worked on teardrop, which, you know, it's only showing three clicks, uh, it's 504 impressions. So with the changes that we've made, hopefully it'll improve the click through rate and even bump us to the first page of Google with these changes. So we'll, we'll come back and check out this. Um, we'll, we'll dive back into search console a couple weeks from now, but another thing you may want to do is, you may want to uh, check the performance uh, of this teardrop vape uh, right now. So we'll hit uh, last three months. So we're gonna compare the last three months to the previous period, right? So what we wanna do is add the query teardrop. It could either be teardrop or teardrop vape if you want to be exact. But let's just go with teardrop. Okay, so we can see that the impressions have increased from the previous three months, which is great. Of course, the clicks have increased as well. Uh, the average click-through rate increased and the average position uh, it went from 38 average to 2, which is fantastic, right? So this is this is a baseline, right? This is the baseline right now. Um, so we're, we can see that currently teardrop, total impressions, 599, average position is two. We know right now that we're number 13 in Google. The goal is to get to the first page. We've made a few changes. Uh, we've uh, incorporated some headers that were questions. We're gonna answer those questions. We've made updates to the images. 
uh, and the image is alt text and we're going to submit the URL to Google to Google can come and crawl the page to re-index us and hopefully with those changes we can get closer to the first page of Google. So uh, that's um, one way that you can improve your SEO using Google Search Console but there's so many different ways but that's the way I'm going to show you today.